Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Power 365's Power Shorts. Today we're going to be talking about how to automatically write a Word document and convert it to PDF using a Canvas app or potentially a Flow. What we're going to do here is we're going to swap over. And the first thing we're going to look at is our Word document. Now I'm in normal Microsoft Word and what I've got the ability to do here by enabling the developer tool through our file and options, our customize ribbon, and if we scroll down on the right hand side, we can tick our developer. Within our developer toolbar, what we've got the ability to do is insert some controls. Now specifically what I'm using today is text controls. And I've inserted these plain text controls here, 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 and here. This allows me to do name, address, date, and position. What I've done with this is I've then uploaded this document into SharePoint. And I've just used a normal document library, created a folder called template, and I've stored this document inside here called dot complete template. So nothing special. What I've then gone ahead and done is I've built myself a little power app to collect name, address, date, and position. And on the back of this create button, what we have is we have a power automate. Now in this flow, what we've got here is we are collecting a variable for name, address, position, and date, and then populating a word template. Now by pointing this populate word template connector directly, so Microsoft Word connector directly into that document library, into my template folder, and by picking up this document, what Word is doing is it's automatically pulling through all of these different plain text fields that I just added in and shown you in my previous template. That then allows me to place in the variables that I'm collecting from my Power App. And then moving forward, I'm using OneDrive here to allow me to convert because it's free. So I've got a create file, just sticking it in my root, giving it a date and a name, and I'm placing, very importantly, placing docx on the end. Otherwise, it won't know what file type to create. The content is then going to be the body of my populate word template. I'm going to convert that file using the OneDrive connector into PDF. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that file in SharePoint with the name and the body from my convert file action. I'm just going to leave that in the normal shared documents library. And then I'm going to go back and delete that original file before finally getting myself the item link and then responding to my Power App with a file link so that I can launch that file from my Power App. Now to show you how that works even further, if I play this now and I go through and I just write Tom Moore, and my address can be one London in London, and it can be W1. The date is automatically pulling through as today, and I'm going to say that you can be CEO because why not? I'm going to go off and I'm going to click create. That's now running my flow in the background. And once that's finished and you can see that the button is still grayed out, what should happen is it should allow me to view the file on the right hand on the left hand side, sorry. And when I open this file and view file, my PDF has been created with my template and my document, shows me my name, shows me the address, the date, and the position has been placed in. So what's actually going on here in the flow then, if we look at that flow run, is it's taken through my variables that I asked it to collect from my Power App, like we looked at. It's populated that word template using that word template connector and understands the control references that we added in, created that file in OneDrive, converted that file to a PDF for me, and then I've created it in SharePoint, deleted it from OneDrive, and then grabbed the link and responded with the item link um, of the property of that file that we've just created. Having a look at SharePoint, dropping into my documents, here's the file that I've just created, and I can do whatever I want to with this file now. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments, um, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.